friends welcome to this video of mathematics in this session we will learn about the polynomials and their classification according to their power that is degree of polynomials in the last class we learned about algebraic expressions these are a few examples in the given expressions x y and z are called variables numbers associated with these variables are called coefficients and the numbers whose values are fixed are called constants now if we focus on the powers of these variables these are positives negatives and fractions and friends the only difference between polynomials and expressions is that the power of variables in polynomials is always a whole number whereas the power of variables in expressions can be any number here we have to focus on one thing that all polynomials are expressions but not all expressions are polynomials friends in the given examples polynomials are in one variable only and such type of polynomials are called as polynomials in one variable can a polynomial be in the form of two or more variables yes but we will learn those polynomials in higher classes general form of polynomials is expressed in this manner where x is called variable an an minus 1 a1 are coefficients and a0 is a constant polynomials are expressed as p of x q of x or according to the variables p of y r of y or r of t q of t polynomials are also classified based on the number of terms present in the polynomials such as monomial binomial trinomial etc similarly polynomials are classified based on the degree of polynomial such as polynomials having degree 1 are called linear polynomials polynomials having degree 2 are called quadratic polynomials and polynomials having degree 3 are called cubic polynomials friends if you observe the general form of these polynomials it has been stated that a should not be zero do you know why if a becomes zero then the degree of polynomials reduces by 1 if in the general form of cubic polynomial we put zero in the place of a then its degree reduces by 1 and becomes quadratic polynomial similarly quadratic will become linear and linear will become constant polynomial let's assume that there is an expression whose power is zero for example 5 times x to the power of 0 then would it be a polynomial during such dilemmas we should focus on the definition which says that if the power of any expression is a whole number then the expression is a polynomial and 0 is a whole number hence it is a polynomial the value of x to the power of 0 in 5 times x to the power of 0 is 1 that is 5 times x to the power of 0 equals to 5 means any number can be written as the polynomial with power 0 now this means that constant or numbers are also polynomials they are called constant polynomial is number 0 also a polynomial 0 can be expressed as 0 times x to the power of 0 or 0 times x to the power of 3 or 0 times x to the power of 5 or as a power of any variable so zero is called a zero polynomial whose power is not defined friends we have come to the end of this video so today what have we learned see you all in the next video thank you